You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying to make it there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Welcome everybody back to SmackDown Live I hope you all are having a great day so far We have a good show for you guys Ready to go Sold out crowd here yet again. Attendance records in WWE have been off the charts lately. Let's get into this episode of Smack Live here from New York, New York. Alright, so we are kicking off this episode of Smack Live with a tag team match. We have some local competitors in the ring already and making their return to universe mode. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan now calling themselves the Bludgeon Brothers again. If you don't remember, at the end of last year, the, one of the main events of WrestleMania was Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. Braun obviously won the WWE Championship off of Bray Wyatt, and we have not seen Bray Wyatt since. And with the disappearance of Bray Wyatt came the split and the end of the Wyatt family. Braun is champ still. We haven't seen Harper and Rowan since the end of last year so they are making their return they are still as a unit referring to themselves as the bludgeon brothers they are still as intimidating as ever before we'll see how they can do on their own without Bray Wyatt but just by the looks of things I think they'll be just fine on their own and Smack Alive is definitely in trouble here the tag team division continues to step up their game Harper and Rowan would return here to universe mode I do feel bad for these local competitors as they are going to have a tough task ahead of them Harper starting things off for his team and he goes for a super kick right to the face of I don't even know what this guy's name is but he looks like a scrawny uh, look-alike of Rick Rude WWE Legend and Hall of Famer, the Ravishing Rick Rude, another super kick by Harper. And he just continues to nearly kick this kid's head off. Trailbreaker reversal stunts Harper for a moment, ducks the clothesline. And yet another super kick by Harper. Irish whips him into the corner back first. An open competitor bounces off. Comes into the corner again. Harper just dismantling this man now. Big reversal kicks in the midsection of Harper. Sends him into the other corner. And Harper, big clothesline. And looking to get back into this matchup. Is are these two local competitors? Definitely the brightest attires that we've seen here in Universe Mode so far. And Rowan pulls down the ropes. As the competitor rolls, or goes over the top rope rather. Crashing onto the floor. Driven into the apron by Harper now. Fighting back a little bit. Harper goes for another super kick, but completely misses. Both men get back into the ring. Again, another double team by the Bludgeon Brothers. Harper gets a moment to catch a breather. Going right after Rowan on the outside. May not be a smart move. Picks him up. Turns him around. Going for that face buster. Just leaves him laying. Harper gets back into the ring. Turns his attention to the other local competitor. 
Still on the apron yet to get into the matchup himself. Referee's count continues. Harper gets out to break the count now. And the sidewalk slam by Harper continuing the domination here. Gets tossed back into the ring. Gets back in himself. Side Russian leg sweep to Harper. Now is an opening. Harper gets kicked right in the face. Now some kicks straight to the chest. His local competitor starting to fight back a bit. Shot right to the face. Stuns him. And a close line. Harper picks him back up, turns his attention back to the other superstar. He's going for an apron back suplex. Harper gets broken up there. Harper not in a good position there on the outside. Big clothesline takes him down. Tags in Rowan. At this point, the Bludgeon Brothers just toying with these two young men. You can see the size difference and how Paul Eric Rowan is just towering over this little competitor on a big right hand. At this point, it's not even fair. Again, Bludgeon Brothers just toying with their opponents right now. The other one taken off the apron. Reversal sends Rowan out on two. The apron, big right hand. Stuns him once again. Another attempt at having Rowan on the apron. And squashes that attempt as well. Into the corner, makes the tag to Harper once more. And drags his face right into the boot of Harper. Harper now sent out onto the apron. That's just about the only move this competitor can do. Takes him off the apron, sweeping the leg. Harper in a tiny bit of trouble, but definitely nothing he cannot handle. Catches the kick and a clothesline takes him down again. Harper gets back in. The Bludgeon Brothers can end this matchup at any moment, and I think they'd even be fine with taking a count out victory. But this local talent gets back into the, nope, gets onto the apron, now gets back in. Sends him into the corner. Tags in Eric Rowan. Oh no. They pick him up, calling this the bludgeoning. High cross, or double high cross. Two, three, now three as the Bludgeon Brothers. Definitely send a message to the rest of the tag team division here on SmackDown Live. Just dismantling these two young men who had no chance at picking up a victory. And as I said a few times already, the Blood Brothers could have ended the matchup at any moment. But they just felt like showing the WWE Universe as well as the rest of the SmackDown roster, what they are capable of. And if you guys remember last year, they were SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions for quite a while. But Harper and Rowan are back here on SmackDown Live, and they are about to destroy anyone that gets in their way. But let's get on with the rest of the show. All right, we were just about to get ready for the main event, but some live feed footage from backstage is showing Jinder Mahal in a confrontation with R-Truth. Jinder Mahal taking his frustrations out on R-Truth. These two are part of that triple threat match. Money in the Bank qualifier, including Apollo Crews. That Crews went on to win. Jinder Mahal has some issues with R-Truth apparently and they're fighting backstage in the locker room area. And a kick right to the back there by R-Truth. Jinder Mahal ducks the clothesline. R-Truth crashing into some production boxes. 
now driven face first into them again. Archuth with a form to the face. Kick to the midsection misses. Now Jinder Mahal tossed into the boxes. Big right hands there by Jinder. And these two not giving in whatsoever. Big right hand from our truth. Jinder Mahal getting dragged down the hallway. Elbows to the midsection breaks. Truth's hold. Jinder Mahal now. Oh, right into an electric box there. Knees to the chest. Jinder Mahal now tossed into the wall. These two definitely do not like each other one bit. And our truth going for a suplex. No, it turns it into a face buster instead. Need to get some order. We're all back here as things continue to break down. Jinder Mahal now with a vertical suplex. Truth crashing into the floor. Elbow to the face of Mahal. Blocks the right hand. Hits him with a stiff right elbow. Jinder Mahal definitely taking his frustrations out on our truth and a gump buster. Running right outside of Triple H's office. It's tossed into that electrical box once again. Now for another vertical suplex. Jinder Mahal turns it into a nice neck breaker. I don't know where the backstage personnel are at the moment, or the referees, or somebody to try and break this thing up. Before these two men destroy each other. Goes for right hand, but R Truth fighting back once more. Now sending each other into that electrical box over and over again. Now R Truth sent into Triple H and Mr. McMahon's office. I don't know if either of them are even in here at the moment. But things are starting to get out of hand here. Jinder Mahal going for another gut buster. Alright, as we get things sorted out backstage, we are going to get ready for our main event. On his way to the ring first is Aiden English. We haven't seen him in a couple weeks. But we're going to give... Mr. English, an opportunity here at a Manning event matchup. So he gets Ladies ready to, I guess, sing for us before he gets into the ring. Chicago, and we're not in Chicago. We do not know what Aiden is talking about. But, again, strange, strange man nonetheless. But he will be taking on... Ray Mysterio. Again, we last saw Ray in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He came close several times at becoming Mr. Money in the Bank. And he defeated Randy Orton to get into that matchup. So Ray with another matchup here one on one. On Smack Alive closing out the episode. So Ray Mysterio wasting no time. He's running right down to the ring. Ray very excited to be back here in the WWE following Money in the Bank despite him not winning. We interviewed Ray and he was very pleased at everybody's performance in the matchup as we get this one underway. Drop kick right to the knee of Aiden English who might be down. Ray into the cover immediately. No one English finds a way to kick out. Ray basically saying stuff along the lines of he's happy to be back ready to show what he can do in that or what he can still do rather he's been away for quite some time but Rey Mysterio back in WWE is always a great sight modified side rushing leg sweep there by Aiden English Mysterio gets pulled right back up pushes English off spinning heel kick takes him down Rey 
the ultimate underdog, one of the best of all time. And one of my personal favorites. Elbow to the face of English. Blocks the kick by Mysterio. Goes for a splash in the corner. English now in trouble. Stomp to the right arm and a second one. Blocks the forearm. And English goes for a splash in the corner. Takes Ray down quickly into the cover. And Ray kicks out fast. Not giving up this early. Kick to the midsection of English. Going for a nice falling suplex. And we're here sold out crowd in New York. Always a great sight to see Mysterio in a WWE ring and the crowd definitely reacting to it well. Drop toe hold. Ray in some trouble. Drops the knee right on the face. English trying to take over this matchup. Ray rolls out of the ring. Playing a bit of cat and mouse with Aiden English. Hurricane Rana. You know what Mysterio's going for here. Dials it up. 619. Up top goes Mysterio. Going for the frog splash. Cover on English. One, two. Three and just like that, Rey Mysterio picks up the victory to close out this episode of SmackDown Live. Aiden English put up a fight, but Rey Mysterio was just too fast for him. Turn the tide of a matchup in his favor at any second. Hits the 619. Follows it up with a frog splash. Puts Aiden English away for good. That'll wrap up this episode of Smack a Lot. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we will see everybody next time. <laughs>